Good morning, everyone. This is Someone Unexpected, presenting a new episode of Tech Newsology. Let us begin. A team of Lawrence Berkeley Lab's material science researchers, led by Shang Zhang, have created what they call a carpet cloak, a device that can conceal objects placed under it from a certain frequency of light by bending the light around the object so that it hits the surface beneath it, rendering the object invisible in that frequency. The researchers have done this using a class of artificial materials that derive their properties from their internal structure, rather than their composition, called metamaterials. Shang Zhang and his team made their carpet cloak from silicon that has been structured with a pattern of carefully designed holes, each with a diameter of 110 nanometers, which is close to the wavelength of light they are manipulating. When researchers inscribe evenly spaced holes of the same diameter in a material, it changes the material's electric and magnetic properties, giving it the ability to bend light around an object the way water flows around a rock. This research will provide many useful benefits for optical technologies. It will improve our telescopes, microscopes, telecommunications, and may allow us to build optical computers, as well as make things invisible. Since their invention, lasers have been used in many diverse applications, in telecommunications, electronics, and in biomedical detection though until now, the ability to control laser polarization has remained elusive. The polarization of light is its direction of oscillation. Laser light can either be polarized on a linear or a circular plane. Recently, a team of Japanese and American researchers have found a way to dynamically control laser polarization using an integrated metallic device on the laser facet, called a plasmonic polarizer. One of the ways in which this technology can be used is to increase the amount of information transmitted through laser pulses and satellites, since the information can now be represented in different laser polarizations. It will also give us more versatile laser devices. The function of a particular laser is determined by its polarization. Lasers with a linear polarization are typically used in telecommunications, while lasers with a circular polarization can be used to detect certain types of molecules. A laser that admits both polarizations would be like a Swiss army knife in its versatility. I'm guessing you all have heard some of the doomsday scenarios purported by celebrities in regards to climate change. Here's some of the good news. As temperatures around the world rise, so does the amount of water in our atmosphere. Because of this, meteorologists are forecasting more cloudy days in the future, which cools the planet down. Many people think this is bad for plants, because the clouds block out sunlight the plants need to grow when in fact, the opposite is true. Plants actually absorb more sunlight on cloudy days than they do on sunny days. This is because water vapor disperses sunlight, so that it is more likely to hit plant leaves. Also, plants today are growing faster than they used to, especially in areas where the burning of fossil fuels has significantly polluted the air. This is due to increased levels of carbon dioxide in nitrogen compounds such as nitrous oxide, both of which are created from the burning of fossil fuels. I am hoping that you have enjoyed this news presentation. Goodbye!